opacification of the lens which leads to decreased eyesight is called as cataract whenever this decreased eyesight causes problems in your day to day life that is the time one can get operated so we'll discuss the types of cataract surgery now cataract surgery has evolved over the last one decade and now it has really become a modern day care surgery where you now surgery time is also reduced and recovery time is also reduced to less than a two days so we'll discuss about the cataract surgery options available now the commonly known surgery is the phaco emulsification surgery where we use ultrasonic probe which is a small probe which goes inside the eye that emulsifies the cataract or the nucleus and then we remove that all liquefied material and in that place we put the new lens so this surgery is called phaco emulsification now this is traditionally done with almost 2.8 mm incision but over a period now we have micro phaco emulsification where the surgery is done with the less than 2 mm incision where the recovery is quick and the post of comfort also is much more to the patients now some of this type of this surgery is got automated so there are two modifications available to this surgery that is called zepto and femto laser cataract surgery now this surgery is also available with nio where part of the critical step of the cataract surgery is done by automated you can say robo or automated machines where the critical steps of the surgery is done by the machine which gives more predictability and more safety to the patients so we also have another machine available that is called calisto now see all eyes are not same some eyes have pre existing cylindrical numbers now if we are going for a cataract surgery we want to utilize this opportunity to neutralize that cylindrical number also so we have to plan our surgical incision in such a way that that neutralizes pre existing cylindrical numbers and here the calisto system help us it gives us the exact incision site where we can plan the cataract surgery incision and with that then we can handle the pre existing cylindrical number much better way and if we still feel ki there is some residual cylindrical number will be still there then we can use the toric lens and we can give the best uh, outcome for the patients so basically we have three types of uh, intraocular lenses the first one is monofocal lens so as the name suggests monofocal that means that lens has only one focal point that is and that is shifted to at, at, at infinite distance so mainly we are going to correct your distant vision in after utilization of monofocal lenses so here we are correcting only your distant vision and you will require reading glasses as per your need the second type is toric intraocular lenses so toric intraocular lens means some patient have pre existing astigmatism in that eye so we have to correct that astigmatism for good quality of vision so these are kind of customized lenses which includes the astigmatism part of patient's eye and that gives a good quality of vision for the mainly for the distant you will require reading glasses for these lenses also and the third type is multifocal so as the name suggests it has different focal points so it covers your vision at the distant point intermediate point and the near point so purpose of using multifocal lenses is to reduce your dependency of glasses so during cataract surgery once we remove cataract we put intraocular lens which is foldable so it depends on the incision it goes like from the 2.8 mm or 2.2 mm but these are essentially foldable lenses so these are uh, kind of single piece lenses and once it gets fit into your eyes it doesn't move some of the side threatening complications following cataract surgery include retinal detachment infection bleeding or opacity on the front layer of the eye called as corneal opacity thankfully with the advancement in the science and technology these complications have become rare however still we cannot say that cataract surgery is 100% safe and therefore it is at most important that first two weeks following the surgery one must take lot of precautions many patients come with a misconception that cataract has to be ripe or mature only then we can operate the patient but it's not right cataract surgery should be planned as and when patient finds it difficult to perform day to day activities the modern day cataract surgery has become safe no doubt but at the same time following the surgery first week is very important and the patient must take utmost precautions during the first week of the surgery thank you